When it comes to lithium ion batteries for e-bikes, it's incredibly important for the longevity and life of your battery that you treat it well. And when I say treat it well, I mean you start with a proper lithium ion battery diet. You want to make sure that the internals of this battery are functioning really well. Uh, so you put them on a nice healthy gut diet, 100% grass fed, probiotic, rich yogurt. You got some collagen powder here that's just going to be good for that stomach lining here. Raw eggs, plenty of those. Uh, and make sure you get that Dr. Berg gallbladder support formula. You do not want to have this thing suffering from malabsorption of nutrition because their gallbladder isn't functioning well. If you do all of that, take care of it in that way, you're going to have a nice long life for this battery. No, I, that's nonsense. Please don't try to feed your battery any food. Obviously, that's a joke. At least I hope it's obvious for you at home. So, yeah, it's not that complicated, guys. You can get lost in the weeds a little bit in this debate. Look at the research and all of that, but guys, really, it's pretty simple. How long do these batteries actually last for e-biking purposes? That was the question I had when I was first getting into e-bikes. I did my research and found that there wasn't a very clear, accurate, definitive answer on how many miles or how many years I should be able to expect to get out of this battery. But I did do the research and came up with my own way of gauging and finding a baseline for what I think e-bike batteries will get most riders. 20,000 miles is a good, safe baseline bottom for what you can expect to get out of your typical lithium ion battery for e-bikes. And the high end is going to be somewhere around 35,000 miles, which I'll explain how I got those numbers. First, we need to know that these batteries are not rated for mileage. They're not rated for time. They're rated on cycles. And a cycle is easy to explain by saying, Every battery has a certain capacity, a level of how much you can fill them up. Think about it as a gas tank. If you have a 12 gallon gas tank, it's only gonna take 12 gallons of gas. If you have a 20 gallon gas tank, it will only take 20 gallons. And you can fill it all the way up or you can fill it partially up. But with batteries, they are given percentage ranges to interpret the capacity that it has because all of these batteries are different sizes depending on your bike and manufacturer. So a cycle then would be considered to be a 0% to 100% back down to zero. Or in other words, you used the maximum capacity one time or you used in gas tank uh, comparisons, you used all of the fuel in that gas tank one time. You took it to full to empty. And that's one cycle. These batteries will tell you how many cycles you can expect to get out of them. For these e-bike batteries that manufacturers are putting out, reputable companies, and I'll recommend going with a reputable company, but that typical range that they say, these reputable companies say, you will get is around 800 cycles. So to get my 20,000 to 35,000 range for mileage, what I did was I looked at a ton of the bike manufacturers websites that had thumb throttle only readings on them. Since it's a law to cap thumb throttles at 20 miles per hour presently in many jurisdictions, it made it easy to figure out what you can expect to get from a battery because the thumb throttle removes the human power from the bike. Most of these manufacturers were claiming somewhere between 20 to 30 miles. I split the difference to 25 miles. At 25 miles, you're going to get with 800 life cycles, you're going to get somewhere close with that 20,000 mark that I gave you. Most people are using pedal assist modes, which will get you even further range. And depending on your bike and style of riding, you'll get upwards of that 35,000 mile mark. For me personally, my bike has given me an average of about 35 miles per charge based on my riding style, which will put me at somewhere around 
30,000 miles over the life of this battery for my personal e-bike. And if I rode it in a little bit more of a lower pedal assist mode, more often, I would certainly get more miles per charge, which I know I can because I've tested it out to show that I can get upwards of 40 miles per charge on this battery. So what can you expect to get? It all comes down to your bike, your riding style, and how you're gonna care for the battery, but you can assume safely that you're gonna get at least 20,000 miles and potentially upwards of 35,000 miles or more. Please don't, don't slather this thing up with yogurt because the guy on YouTube told you to. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that answers some of your questions. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.